Rebuilt from the remains of a Franciscan convent, the Rafael Coronel Museum is a cultural jewel in the colonial city Zacatecas in Mexico. Rafael Coronel was a prolific painter in the 20th century, and many of his works are a source of local pride. The museum with his name displays his collections of ancient Mexican art, colonial works, mural paintings, and antique marionettes. But the most fabulous, even notorious boast of this museum is the display of his native masks, collected from across the country, from the northwest state of Sonora to Chiapas in the southeast. Distinct indigenous cultures include the Maya, Yaqui, Aztec, Cora, and Purhepecha. The spaces I am traversing here are two of the longest and final halls of masks in the museum, but the wing extends well before to showcase highlights from the almost 3,000 masks in the collection. These masks delegate a diversity of states and cultures, especially the states of Veracruz, Michoacán, and Guerrero. At left are a panel of bushy black masks depicting Pascua spirits from Yaqui religion, which will be explored in another video. Modern Aztecs in Guerrero have created a particularly rich tradition of handmade wooden masks decorated with intricate detail, and today's mask will exemplify the Guerrero Aztec style. While the indigenous peoples of Mexico did have rites using masks before the conquest, many of the masks in this display originated from medieval Spanish designs and traditions. In Spain, masks were used for plays to impersonate characters from biblical and saintly episodes. When the Spanish brought this masked play institution into the New World, the natives did what they liked to do, adopt the practice into already existing rites, many of which had previous uses for masks in magical and ritual settings. Native masks with ritual weight are prominent in this second hall. At right are skull and life death masks for the Days of the Dead. We then see masterpieces of the jaguar or so-called tiger dances performed to ritually ward communal danger. Here are various devils and critters. Nature spirits are placated in mask rituals to ensure the health and abundance of the animals they govern. Coming up on the right are faces of crocodiles, mermaids, and mythical beings related to rivers and lakes. We now approach a magnificently sculpted wooden mermaid as a hoop to be worn at the waist, also related to beliefs in water spirits. This figure has an organic style for a supernatural subject, bringing us to today's mask. Today's mask comes from the Aztecs of Teloloapan in the southern state of Guerrero. I put it in slow motion to bring out its meticulous detail. Fanged serpents issue from the side edges, and the dangling nose itself becomes one. Ram horn and deer antler project from the head, and other horns emerge from the mouth. The tongue ends in a triad of sinister faces. This is a masterpiece of modern indigenous mask making, and a testament to the power of the imagination in conceptualizing the spirit world. Thank you for watching and good roads.